What's up everybody? I am back. If I'm not mistaken, this should be the last video up until uh, Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, the season finale, I believe, comes out. Let me, let me double check. I don't like lying on camera. Yes, the season finale is tonight, so you guys are going to get two more videos, that and Black Ink Crew. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I am caught up. Y'all ain't getting no damn TV smoothies. Fuck that. But <laughs> I think I am caught up, so... Yeah, let me go ahead and get into this. Before I do, two quick things. One, uh, like I said, go to my Facebook fan, Facebook fan page. <laughs> the link is down below. And if you guys have not already uh, kind of gotten the introduction to the fucking Love and Hip Hop New York, has again, they didn't got to the point where we're gonna have Love and Hip Hop nonstop. So. New York is coming back. If you want to get, like, kind of see what's going on, there's a link on my fan book page. You guys can check that out. One. Two, if you guys have not checked out my Trending Topics video, I think I came back with a nice fire inside my belly. Hopefully, <clears throat> if you guys have not seen that, you guys will go check that out. If I remember, I'll try to include a link. If not, just, you know, go back and you'll find the fucking video. I did it on Sunday. All right. And again, remember, trending topics every Sunday, unless otherwise stated, at 1300 slash or 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, back to love and hip hop. So, <clears throat> I'm going to try to fly through this. Fizz and Moniz, they're going kindergarten shopping for uh, Cameron. And, uh, of course, uh, Fizz decides he wants to ask Moniz to be <clears throat> his, uh, pretty much a uh, leading lady in his, uh, Lurchin video. Uh-huh. Uh, and Fizz, uh, tells her that he is dating Nikki, and she kind of just like, eh. We're gonna come back to that. Hopefully I don't remember to talk about this part here. Uh, Ray and Max. Max encourages Ray to fight for love, you know, deep down in his loins, uh, him and Princess. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, Tierra and Moniz. Moniz talks about what's going on with Fizz and more or less just, you know, the what ifs is like rushing through her mind. It's like, what if things would have been different between her and Fizz? And Moniz encourages Tierra out of Tierra, tells her what happened at the fitting <clears throat> to go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me. Get revenge. I'm kind of like, ah, uh, don't do that. But again, talk about all that later. And I'm, hold on. <clears throat> Y'all know I have music, mucus that gets caught in my damn fucking esophagus and shit. It's fucking insane. What else? Uh, Brandy is with her sister. Uh, they just discovered that her sister has multiple sclerosis, if I'm not mistaken. Sad thing, but another uh, Mona Scott, uh, you know, public service announcement. So moving on. Amber and Miles. Amber has told her daughter about Miles. Miles is a little bit upset because he wasn't included, but she rather tell her daughter than her daughter either find out from blogs or you know how adults and how candid we can fucking talk and not really giving a fuck kids around and shit. She don't want her daughter to kind of hear her that way, so rather hear from her mouth than anything else. And, you know, pretty much Amber just lets things go. You know, I'm not finna sit here and talk too much about this shit. I did enough of these motherfucking videos. Y'all just saw this shit, but y'all gonna get some, y'all gonna get me live and in color. Not really live, but y'all gonna get me good tonight. All right. Moving on. Um, <clears throat> Fizz video shoot. Moniz opens up about her feelings. And, you know, it's pretty much being, you know, even saying that she's being honest with herself, you know. And which is a good thing, you know, being honest with herself, her feelings, all that good shit. What else? Um... And she asked him, like, do you think about me or have you thought about me the same way that I've been thinking about you? Y'all, bright midnight anytime came to, you know, through my mind, do I ever cross your mind anytime? I'm just like, y'all can't have my ass going back to the 90s. Again, I, I think Mona be just trying to paint the 90s through fucking love and hip hop. That's all I get from love and hip hop is straight up 90s music videos or R&B. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Fizz said he fell out of love with her way back when. And, uh, you know, she just doesn't know how to process these feelings, but she's living in the past. And he pretty much tells her without telling her, hey, bitch, you need to live in the motherfucking present. Don't stay back there. Because just when I say regrets and <clears throat> thinking about the what it could have been and shit, it's not a good look for anybody. On some real shit, I'm just saying. Um, 
and Nikki walks in and of course Fizz shares uh, you know this interaction with Nikki which is not a good fucking idea and by the fucking previews she's gonna go run back and tell motherfucking um Rich as you can see Nikki really does not have a storyline. She's trying to be the motherfucking Carla Reddick. All I'm going to say is this. She might want to watch the fuck out. But again, I'm going to talk about Monice and Nikki a little bit later. I need to rem remember to talk about it, y'all. <clears throat> what else? Ray and Princess Ray pops up. Princess doesn't want him at the event. He automatically go into defense mode like, oh, like, you know, she fucking with somebody else. And she's like, no, but I went to see my father. She starts to tear up. And he slides on in. I'm looking at him like, motherfucker, you think you slid. And she kind of pushed him away after the kiss. <clears throat> But, you know, if you guys have heard me saying like the last several videos that I probably did the last couple of days is, you know, like owning your past <clears throat> and understanding that sometimes it's because of our past that we deal with things in our present the way that we do. And until we acknowledge our past, accept our past and own our past, we can never truly dominate our present and move on to our future. I'm just saying I'm probably going to say this several more times and it just in general, if it comes up, <clears throat> but I truly do mean that. And she, she didn't go into detail, but apparently her dealings with her father, it plays out between her and Ray, whether it's the same exact thing or wanting him to fill the gap. You feel what I'm saying? And her, um, yeah, she pretty much tell him, bro, I need my space. Step back. Now, Brady and Max, they're making nice with each other, moving on. This low budget ass fashion show. I'm gonna call it for what the fuck it is. It was fucking low budget. I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck Dre has a better motherfucking, you know, uh, fashion uh, show on uh, Basketball Wives LA. But, love it, hip hop Hollywood. I ain't even gonna do that anyway, because I'm comparing apples and oranges. Hazel finds out from Tierra that she's gonna crash a party. Hazel wants to get the fuck out of Dodge. Now, I think she was being a little wuss about it, but I can understand why she did it. Because here's the thing she wants to be completely absent of the bullshit, so she's done her portion and she's getting ready to leave. Milan wants her to stay, but hey, she chucking the deuces getting the fuck out of Dodge. And as she's leaving, we see her hug Mother Patrice. Again, I've uh, Patricia, as I like to call her. I've already talked about, I've already bridged the gap between Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Ooh, my phone's going off. But you're, um, that was Lady Nika. You know, I'm responding to her later. Y'all y'all think I'm lying. Y'all probably can't see. It's probably reversed. But, you know, we talks and shit. We talks and shit. That's my sister. That's my big sister. Anyway. Where was I? So Milan, again, as you know, trying to get convince her to stay. She doesn't want to. She leaves. He goes back and tells the uh, other two. And they're just like, well, fuck it. We're just going to make this shit work. But again, she did her portion as the coordinator and getting all this shit together. So again, I'm, I'm upset, but I'm not mad at her. Because again, she's just trying to stay away from the fucking bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? But I will say, if you finna sit here and, you know, put your big girl pants or send them motherfucking wolf tickets, your ass need to suck. You need to fucking deliver. Don't back down. Yeah. Moving on. So, uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Now, Monice is being messy because she's there. I don't know who the fuck she's there. I think. Yeah, I can't recall who she was there. I get more or less in support of, but she's there. And she goes and she pretty much lets Tierra in. Now, here's one thing that I'm going to say. I got you sitting here being down for your motherfucking friend and shit. <clears throat> but I'm going to have to ask Monique, Moniz, I hope you watch and I need for you to come get, get close. Get, get close. If you trying to stay cool with baby dad, again, you ain't got to like his motherfucking girlfriend. But you sitting here coming spoiling an event that his current girlfriend is throwing because you want to help your friend get back. Let your friend handle her motherfucking battle. Because last that I checked, Tierra Marie is not jumping into your shit helping you get your hands dirty. Okay, Tierra Marie wants her friends to get involved in her shit, but she not getting involved in y'all shit. Okay, Moniz, I'm need for you. Come on, come on now, come on, boo, come, on, come on now, come on, don't, 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 don't do that, don't do that. It's upset me. But that shit is not cool, and it's fucking dumb. It's stupid. It's idiotic that she is doing that because it's like you're going to further cause problems between you and Fizz. And this is part of the reason that Nikki. I, we all know why Nikki go run until rich. Yeah, 
because of the fuck shit. So again, Monique, you kind of shot yourself in the motherfucking foot. Moving on, Tierra storms in, and you know these girls start fighting over the mic and whatnot. Nikki is the only one that's not doing that because it's like you know what I'm. She's actually being classy, okay, and not slutty in this moment. And Milan grabs a mic and he shuts the shit down because he understands, like, y'all fuck with our fucking paper right now. Let us not do this right now. But, of course, Princess and uh, Tierra had to have their words and shit. And uh, Ray is waiting for Princess outside, you know, with flowers and everything. And she was like, you know, all you got white flowers because white flowers equal friendship, which is what we should have. Oh, friend zone that ass for the moment, but we know they're but we know they're engaged, and um, pretty much it. Tierra, Moniz, Nikki, Milan, and Princess—they are all sitting down to try to talk about things maturely. Nikki is being mature, which is great. I like that. Trying to get everybody to sit down and just talk things out. Of course, shit starts to go left. Moniz asks <laughs> Tierra, being messy. Would you ever invite your arch nemesis to a fitting? Then Moniz and you know, <clears throat> fucking uh, Princess Crazy One and Crazy Two. These two motherfuckers are starting to get into it. Now Milan was being messy. I don't know if any of y'all motherfuckers called it. Now Moniz was being messy. My whole thing is this: Look, Milan. Look, 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 Milan. I, I, I got to do what you do. But my whole thing is this. If you want to be professional, be professional. But don't sit here and be a bitch with the bitch. Don't fucking do that. Because he was just like, did you throw a drink on my friend? Motherfucker, what you finna fucking do? You a motherfucking dude. The fuck? My, like, I'm like, bruh. Bruh. Why? And it's, once he said that, then that fur, that egged on Princess. These two going back for Princess threw a drink. Uh, Moniz threw a drink. Security came in. It is what it is. Now, I will say there were several opportunities between this episode and last episode. Princess could have got her hands on their ass. But, you know, from what I'm hearing and what we've all anticipated, some shit's going to go down at the reunion. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, they got to save the juicy shit for the reunion so we can come back and watch next season and shit. But, um, is that it? Yes, that is it. That's all I got. So, this is my review. You guys, please make sure you check out those videos that I said. Come back tonight. I will have those videos up as quickly and as swiftly as I possibly can. And until those videos, I love you all. You guys have a fantastic night. All that good jazz. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.